tuned in to the liveest motherfucking station in H Town. This is Houston Street Kings Radio. Yeah, be a chill, you know she, you know she, And this is the liveest, most uncensored show in the motherfucking city. I swear to God, ain't nobody fucking with me, bro. Nobody's fucking with this show. Not as far as the censorship, you know what I'm talking about. It's some jamming ass shows. Don't get me wrong. All my other people that's on this show, H Town, I mean on Houston Street King Radio, they jamming like a motherfucker. So don't just think it's my motherfucking show. But as far as censorship, yeah, yeah, we ain't we ain't holding back over here. We got to stop part trap in the motherfucking building. Oh, yeah, yeah, we here. What's good? What's good? Yeah, we just working. So, um, yeah, for those that don't know about you, you know what I'm saying, let's go ahead and get that part out the way. Let's get the actual factuals, the introduction part out the way. Man, yeah. It's my second project. Mm hmm yeah. First project was live from the truck one, hosted by DJ Scream, MLK. Okay. It's the album right here, 1080 Scale Game. I dropped a lot from the truck a few years ago. We just been working on it, just been, you know, shooting these visuals and knocking, um, just dropping visuals, dropping on um, singles, dropping records. Shit, you know, now we're at the point to see well, we just locked in the project. 14, 14 records. I got Boston George on here. I got Fast Lane. I got Rick Damon. Okay, okay. I got um, yeah. Junebug, Ghetto. Oh, shit. And niggas that's in the street working, man, you know, shit. It's okay. real street nigga, real trap nigga, man. Okay. We just trying to take this shit real wide global, man. You know, get out the city, man. Get the fuck up out of here and, and turn this shit up all the way up. That's okay. a whole nother notch. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Now, how did you get started in the music industry with the music? Really, um, I got a cost. I was incarcerated. Really, I was back into music before I uh, went, to, went to jail, but I got incarcerated now. I was just really re reading up on the business and I would write this writing for you know for spare time, just you know, writing this fucking around. But once I started just looking up looking at the business and, and seeing, you know, people make business moves and niggas like me, like myself, like real street niggas that were winning, it it, it, it made me wanna, you know what I'm saying, take my like elevate my hustle, you know what I'm saying, to a, in another lane, like shit, I'm like shit, if I can put my life on wax, I feel like shit, if they can do it, I can do it, you know what I'm exactly. saying? And they telling the people what they done did, shit. I probably got more story, stories than them to tell, you know? So shit, I, it, just, it just started like that and I just ran with it, you know what I'm saying? Okay. I okay. lived it so I just feel like I, I, I could do it. I, I got the, the hustle mentality, I know I'm going to get some money, so. Not bullshit. So I just, you know, just want, just want to go around. You know, I put this shit together. I felt like we already had the streets, you know what I'm saying, with our street movement, the MSG. I'm like, shit, the, the people are already there. They ain't there, so shit. Whatever we were doing, they were fucking with it anyway, so it's like I was in a win-win situation already. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So you just took it and ran with it, basically. Yeah, yeah, just trying to make some stand up besides, you know, just being in the streets. There's like some regular shit. And like shit, you know, we got me at the movement, so I'm like shit. Let's, let's put some, you know, get some good out of it, some good use into it, you know. So when you um, came out of incarceration, that's what motivated you with your music? Yeah, yeah, really. Okay. Really, just yeah, the music, the music, the business, and they seeing how the game was going. It's the grind, you know what I'm saying? It's like shit, it's like ain't too many options once you're a feeling, once you're a feeling. So it's like shit, it's like I got other, yeah, I got other um, avenues. I mean, I'm, I'm in a, you know, real, real estate. I got, got a few okay. um, like condominiums and shit like that. Like. Just shit. And how's that? How do you how do you deal with doing that? How do you work that out? Like how does that feel to be real estate? I really just I really just got my got my feet in it. So I really ain't you know I ain't just got a, got it got in the market like talking about. It. So I just want to make sure I invested in that. You know what I'm saying? Then being out here just fucking my money off, gotcha. buying jewelry and making gospel. Ah, this shit. Bullshit. So yeah, I'm looking gotcha. at I'm looking what niggas doing like nah. But I know I'm taking these chances like. Shit can change with a, a blink of an eye. Like, I'm like, shit, I'm, yeah. I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna I'm I'm invest in something that I know is gonna make some money. You know what I'm saying? Gonna, gotcha. You know, gonna be there, or my people need somewhere to stay at. You know, I can, huh, yeah, I gonna stay over there. You know, shit like that. Gotcha. Now, what, um, besides uh, your past situation, which, no, like I said, up here, h and sister, we don't judge, and it is against the rules to watch your fucking mouth on my show. Like, you're not allowed to watch your mouth here. We don't do that. <laughs> it's illegal. That's a technical file, and it's going to get your ass fired up. We don't watch our mouth here, so you can relax, <coughs> be as gangsta as you feel, you know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah. But, um, oh, yeah. exactly. Yeah, you got to on my show. You got to relax, because I know when y'all going to do these interviews, these other people, they want y'all to be stiff and some type of character, according yeah. to whatever 
shit they got not here, bro. Y'all want y'all to relax and be, be ourselves. Trouble. Ain't no feeling like you made it when them bitch ass niggas were changing. Ain't no feeling like you turned up on them people. Yeah, they made you. Ain't no feeling like I ain't got a post on that black no more. Ain't no feeling like I ain't got to sell on rocks no more. Move your mama out the hood, all on the hill, pay all the bills. Ain't no feeling like this feeling, it is so real, then what it is. Ain't no feeling like your mama out the hood, all on the hill, pay all the bills. Ain't no feeling like this feeling, it is so real. Ain't no feeling like this feeling, we've been getting it, we've been grinding for a minute. Now, with, um, as far as the music, I ask every artist that come here on my show the same questions, basically. And then it'd be some extra shit, because it is Freaky Friday. Yeah, you fucked up and walked in wrong goddamn day. So I am going to get out of your freaky business. Well, yes. So, as far as artists out here in Houston, if you could work with any three artists from Houston, top three, dead or alive, which ones would you work with to do a fire ass song? So you probably Scar Scarface. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, zero. Okay, so sure, sure. Um, who else? Probably and Bun. Okay. I got I got features from Kiki, um, from Flip. Okay. You know okay. Okay. Um, that's how you, you know, Bun. I say you know the middle, right? Gotcha. Okay. Real shit. Real shit. Real shit. Now it is Black History Month. Who is your favorite Black historian that inspired you in your life? My favorite who? Black historian, like somebody in Black History that inspired you in some type of way in life. Probably MLK. MLK. Yeah. Okay. Now, where do you plan to take your music? 2018. What can we expect to see from South Park Trap? Cause I've seen your videos. You be turning the fuck up. Yeah, we taking this shit on the road. We ain't running for no handouts. Fresh we ain't looking for the city to give us nothing. Okay. From the rubber shoulder, we grinding. Like you gonna fuck with it, you gonna fuck with it. If you're not gonna fuck with it, just don't fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? Like I ain't tripping. Like I know nobody don't owe me. Nobody don't owe me shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's just with the points of where the division is bigger than Houston. Like I don't feel like they gonna understand it because I know I feel like nobody even came came like came like how I came. Like ain't nobody came how I'm coming. Like I ain't got nobody like backing this shit up. This all me. Gotcha. Feel me? So it's like you gotta respect it because you know where it come from. So gotcha. it's like we here and we we here to stay, nigga, and we working. Like, you know what I'm Hey, I got a caller on the line from South Park Trap. Carla, what's your name? What's up? Fast money. Fast money. What's up, Fast Money? What's the goddamn deal? Oh, baby, y'all. Oh yeah. That family man, what's happening, boy? What's good? Man, you know what time it is, man. What's up? What's up? What you want to holler at him, nigga? Holler, holler. What's up, fast man? Yeah, 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 man. We ready, man. We ready for this, man. February 27th, 1080 scale gang. 14 track, 14 bangers, man. Real life, real street shit, no rap shit, no flaw. Yeah. Go download, then go purchase that. The pre-order link in the bio. Yeah. Listening session Monday, 7 p.m., bro. Appreciate it, bro. Come pull up on me, man. I'm in that thing, man. Keep grinding, keep working, my dick. Oh, yeah, for sure, bro. Shout out to Fast Money calling in. Thank you, Fast Money. Hey, already, already. Now, it is Freaky Friday. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I think we got them loaded up. Oh yeah, we do got trapped loaded up. So what we gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get this South Park trap spinning real quick. And then trap, you might as well go ahead and bust up your seat, honey, because I'm gonna get in your bed next. Yeah, she Hey, it's freaky yeah. Friday. We about to have fun, honey. Let's get into this South Park yeah, trap. Yeah, this yeah. is what is it? What is it? Name them. Name them. Name them. That's name them. Where'd you come with the concept of name them? Name a name who gon' move a thousand pound like me. Name a name who just got out in these flooding streets. All that Instagram crushing, we done hit them freaks. Hundred thousand dollars for that brand new check for lease.